Hey everyone, this is Daniel Rubino here from Windows Phone Central. Today we're taking a look at the Toshiba Encore, an 8 inch tablet running Windows 8.1. When it comes to 8 inch tablets at the end of 2013, Windows fans have quite a few choices. You have Dell, you have Lenovo, even Acer updated their W4 tablet. And we also have a new entry here from Toshiba, which is going to be kind of interesting. It's on sale now at Amazon and various other outlets. It goes for $329. And this is the 32 gig version, which is pretty good. Now, I'm not going to do a full unboxing for you guys because, to be honest, it's a little bit boring to do. And I have been playing with this device for about the last 24 hours. And so far, it is pretty nice. Now, let's give a quick tour here of what we got. Uh, going to the top here, you have your volume key and power button. They're pretty good. They click a little bit. Uh, I still think the Dell's is a little bit better, but overall, they're not too bad. On the back here, you have an 8 megapixel camera. Uh, going to the front is a 2 megapixel. That's sort of the reverse of there. Uh, over here, you have your headphone jack. Uh, these right here are dual microphones, which is kind of interesting. It's a good choice. It's supposed to give really good uh, ability for your Skype calls. And then you have your micro HDMI, which is the big selling point of this device. It sort of separates it from the rest of the 8-inch tablets currently, which do not have micro HDMI. Some of you, that's a real important thing. So there you go. It's there. Here you have your micro USB. Going to the bottom here. Here's your micro SD expansion. So this comes with 32 gigs of internal storage, but you can pop in a card there to add more memory. And then coming around here, look at that dual speakers. It's technically stereo, kind of an interesting thing. Although I will say I find the Dell still a little bit better, even though it's a mono. Now we'll be doing a whole shootout between all three devices later on. But today we're just going to give Toshiba their little moment of glory here. The device is noticeably thick. Uh, of all the eight inch tablets, this one is definitely the chunkiest. But because it has rounded corners and curved edges, it doesn't feel too bad. But it is also significantly heavier. This runs about 16.9 ounces. And while it's not heavy, uh, it is heavier than other 8-inch tablets. Um, and, you know, that kind of matters for 8-inch devices since you're going to hold them one-handed. Uh, it's not bad. It's just I wish it was a little bit lighter. Uh, let's power it on here. And there you go. There's your 8-inch display. It is an IPS. It is pretty good. Um, you know, as far as the other tablets go, it's up there. No complaints. You can see the viewing angle is very good. IPS is always a great choice. For a processor, you're still running the same Intel Atom, 1.3 gigahertz. And, of course, it can boost up to 1.8. has 2 gigs of RAM. And other than that, the specs are pretty similar. Um, performance of the device has been not an issue, as you would expect. It does run full Windows. So you can, of course, go to the desktop, or sorry, go to Internet Explorer, but you can go to the desktop there, and you can see you can run anything on there. This does come with Office 2013, of course. you got to uh, punch in a code and, you know, register, but it does come with that. It also comes with some bloatware, including Norton, which is really annoying. So you can, of course, uninstall that, but I'm not a huge fan of putting antivirus on such a device, but it's up to you. Otherwise, the bloatware isn't too bad. You have like a Toshiba Center, which I can show you over here. You can see some of the Toshiba apps. Here's your Norton uh, Create Recovery, and your, there's some more Toshiba stuff. So not too bad in the way of apps. Uh, it comes about 11 gigs of actual available storage when you first boot up the device. And then, of course, you'll lose some after that. But with that micro SD expansion, it probably it shouldn't be too much of a problem. The device itself, though, it's pretty good. I've had no issues with performance. The speakers are pretty good on it. Um, even though you have those dual speakers, you would think it would be really amazing and i'd say it's good but they're a little tinny they don't have too much bass or reverberation with them the button on top is good there and you can see in the bottom here this is a big deal you do have the capacitive button which can also wake up the device it's a pretty solid button but um i find sometimes it doesn't respond well uh it's hit and miss you really have to kind of press it to get a response which actually may be a good thing because people are sort of worried about capacitor buttons and accidentally hint hitting them while holding or using the device and in this case uh toshiba may have made it a little bit more you have to kind of hold your finger down before you get a response it's an interesting thing uh the screen feels great for responsiveness no issues there and overall it's pretty nice my big complaint like i said is it's a little bit thicker than other devices but because it's curved it's actually a little bit shorter that way so it actually feels good to hold. 
Uh, I have also had some issues with the camera, which the camera's actually pretty good on this. Um, the issue I have is sometimes I launch it and it actually won't show anything. It's just a black screen. And that's for the rear camera. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe a software bug, maybe something on my device. It works other times. Video works well too. The front facing camera is also pretty decent. It's a two megapixel, but I will say this, it performs very well in low light in the sense that you can actually see the image. It'll be highly noisy, but when I compare it to the other tablets, uh, you get visible highly noise or you get not visible at all with no noise. So uh, it's a pretty interesting camera. So Toshiba seems to have done a pretty decent job with it. Uh, other than that though, the specs are very similar to other eight inch devices. Like I said, the big selling point there is gonna be that micro HDMI, which I'll give it a spin to see how well it works. Uh, but other than that, uh, the back is also sort of um, textured. It's sort of more like the Dell, which is uh, not slippery and has a, a texture feeling to it. And it's pretty good. And you can see they kept the back of the device fairly clean. So kudos to, Sh to Toshiba for doing that. You just have the Intel sticker there and their logo, but it's not as, um, you know, stickered layered as the Lenovo was. So there you go. Head to Windows Phone Central for more information. We'll of course have some more photos up and our full thoughts of this device. And like I said, if you're looking for a shootout between this, the Dell and the Lenovo, we'll be doing that in a few days as well. Um, I'm leaning towards the Dell so far. So there's your sneak peek, but there you go. Take care, buddy.